architecture of the synth gikon. This year one generates sawtooth, triangle, sine and pulse waveforms. Pulse width is controlled by the width knob. We can activate DCO2. Turn the DCO2 on. Both DCOs generate the same waveform. DCO1 and 2 can be tuned to each other. Set the indicator to H for tune and P for even more precise fine tuning. Both DCOs change the waveform with the according switch. Good Hidan, good job, Maladets. Modulator LFO. LFO can be routed to multiple destinations, oscillator, amplifier, pulse width modulation, filter envelope. Rate and depth controls define the level and frequency of the modulation. LFO to amplifier modulates the level, creating vibrato. ADSR – classic set of attack, decay, sustain and release controls allows to synthesize a range from plucky type of sounds till long played tunes.
LFO to pulse width, modulator modifies width of the pulse. This is only applied to the pulse type of waveform. LFO on VCF curve. Modulator can be set to attack release controls of the VCF. The synth has dual filter, one to smooth the digital artifacts and second one to influence the timbre. Filter phase invert knob inverts the filter envelope and that gives possibility to generate new timbres. Extra features are overdrive, noise, fuse, distortion type effects, activated by mod 1 to 4 switches. On the rare panel we see power adapter input, on-off switch, MIDI input, MIDI channel set knob, 
and monophonic line output. Front panel marks the inputs. The synth is lightweight, the frame is made from ABS plastic that is pasted over by the leather imitating film. Some of Soundscape's examples are found and added a simple reverb. More examples you can find by experimenting with the Gikon or following tips on soundobjects.com.